Yo, what's good everyone? In this video, I'm going to cover integrating the immersive template with other assets. The latest updates feature the linked layer already set up so you can easily combine this with any asset in minutes. I'll be using the open world locomotion system for this example, but the steps will be exactly the same with any other asset. We'll start by migrating to your content folder. One thing to note is that we only want to check our projects folders, not these other ones. Next, we want to copy the sockets from the immersive skeleton over to the open world skeleton. You can simply open an animation sequence or any asset where you can see the skeleton, search hold to show the sockets, copy them and open the open world skeleton or an animation sequence, then click on the root and paste. Double check by searching hold on this skeleton and you should see them. Make sure you save after this step. And next, we're gonna wanna delete the skeletons that come with my asset. The reason is because there's no difference between mine and this animation skeleton, but the animations between both are linked to their own skeletons. Doing this eliminates a long list of skeletons to choose from and keeps your projects concise. I'm just gonna delete each one of mine and replace it with the respective ones. If you see these errors, you can just ignore them. Make sure you save after deleting each one. You'll know if you did things right by opening any animation for my asset, seeing it play correctly, and then when checking the skeleton, you'll be forwarded to your asset's skeleton. The last thing is, you'll notice that they might look funny. To fix it, you just need to open retargeting options, right click, recursively set to skeleton, set the root to animation, and pelvis to animation scaled. Now they should play exactly as they're supposed to. Next, copy the components over from the immersive character blueprint, then the macro, and then the nodes. You'll need to hook up each of the nodes in the same section wherever you find them in your asset. For this one, it has a base character and a child that the player uses. So I'm gonna paste the macro along with the last set of nodes in the child because it needs the third person camera, which only the child has in this instance. Here I get an error because it can't find the camera because in this asset it's named differently, so I'm just replacing it. The last step is to open the animation graph that your character uses. Go to class settings and then add the two immersive interfaces. Now you'll see the IT post locomotion layer show up. Double click into it and connect the pins. Then go to your animation graph and find wherever you have your main locomotion logic running. Here you're going to drag out the IT post locomotion and connect it in between your locomotion and the other animation pins. The last thing you need to do is click on this purple node, select the instance class, check these boxes, and you'll be good to go. Now if you hit play, your character has whatever logic your asset has along with mine. Now you just have to do the work of making sure things don't clash between these two assets. For example, this asset has its own crouching and IK systems, so crouching through my asset gives this weird result, so I could either disable my crouching logic or this asset's logic. I hope this helps. Please let me know if y'all got questions. I'll catch you later. Bye.